All right, so we all know CVT transmissions suck. There's nothing fun about them, and they're strictly, uh, they're only good for fuel economy. That's about it. A nice smooth ride with no gear changes and keeping you at the most optimal RPM possible for, again, fuel economy. But that's why they also suck for anyone who enjoys driving because off a line, that rubber bandy feeling you get, that's not fun. There's a lot of heat and friction in CVTs that, that just, you lose a lot of energy. And this article says the first gear-driven CVT could be a holy grail transmission. This could solve all the problems we've ever had with CVT transmissions. The rubber band feeling, the efficiency, the, the overall feel of connectivity between the engine and the transmission. So this is very interesting. This could possibly be the future of CVTs. Now it says, unlike conventional CVTs, this gear-based CVT is invented by engineers in Italy and can handle more torque and loses less energy to heat. Now, this picture we have here, it definitely is, it's a spectacle to look at. It's very interesting, it's very intricate. I'm not an engineer, I don't know how any of this kind of stuff works, but it looks very complex. But, I also see gears. Obviously, gear-driven CVT, but there's no bands, there's no um, friction-based um, areas where I would see a loss of energy, the way a band would stretch and compress. And that's that, that feeling you get when you initially hit the gas pedal on a CVT car. It just feels like crap. This, it, it looks like when you hit the gas, you would just get a solid engagement. That's what we want. Um, and they're saying the complexity behind this, that is um, all these gears, still gives you variable gear changes just like a belt driven one would. That's why there's so many incredible amount of, incredible amount of gears in this thing. Um, but it does say sticking with power going through via a big metal stick, but it must first navigate a marble maze to find the proper exit before getting strained through a magical garbage disposal that somehow turns it all back to power going through a shaft again. That's, that is engineering for you because I could not imagine all these different gear changes. You're going, you have an input shaft, you have an output shaft. That is a good thing. So that will actually feel like there's, again, there's engagement. There is driver feel again in this transmission. But Toyota's been doing, I don't want to say something similar to this because it's not similar at all, but there is a gear that they use in their transmissions. Um, I don't know exactly how it works, but I know their first gear is like a conventional first gear from a standard traditional transmission. But after that first gear, then it goes over to like a CVT and that's where you get all the gas savings. So when you first hit the gas, you have a solid geared engagement feel taking off. And then it hands it over to the CVT. I don't know how it works. I just know that's what I've read. And from all the reviews I've seen, like the Corollas and things, they have a actual first gear. And then it goes to a CVT. And if this comes to fruitation, this could be a, a game changer for so many vehicles. This is still a prototype. Um, there is a video on YouTube. Uh, I guess it's the, the company, the creators, whatever spokesperson behind this, really goes into very in-depth detail on how this works. And I watched it and it is very incredibly confusing even when you watch it, but he does a very good job explaining it. Uh, I do have a better idea of how the arms move very much like a piston and connecting rod through an engine block. And those same arms will go through the gears and change 
through the gears rotationally to what's optimally needed. And it's really, really interesting. I will try to link that video in my description so you can watch that whole thing if you want to see it. But it's, it's really incredible. They said it's in the late stages of development. So right now it is still technically a prototype. The only thing they have to do now in the final stage is have it tested for durability, strength, torque, heat loss, all those things. So basically it's a reliability test. They'll really put it through the ringer. And then... If it passes, they'll test it in the vehicle and see how it does. So I'm really, really, really curious to see how long it takes them to get through all that and into a vehicle. Maybe we'll see it in five years. That would be fantastic to get rid of a belt-driven or chain-driven CVT for this would change my entire outlook. If it turns out to be um, a driving engagement that I'm hoping for, that the way it's described, this this could be great. This would be, people would not look down on CVTs anymore. But that being said, I wanna know what your thoughts are on a gear-driven CVT. Is this something you would end up buying if it made its way into your car? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next upload.